Okay, people of VC, take 27 or 28, I don't know what it is. So, um, welcome to a, a new-ish uh, uh, rock and metal update. I've not done one of these for about uh, five or six weeks, so I've got quite a bit of stuff that I've uh, picked up. So this is stuff that's apart from the 80 videos that I normally do. Um, it's kind of split into two halves. Uh, half of this video, I mentioned uh, previously that um, I started getting into some stoner rock metal. Um, so there's uh, quite a few things I've picked up uh, around that genre of metal, and um, the rest will be um, more uh, straight up metal. So, as I say, quite a bit to go through, so we're going to dive straight in. Um, first up, a um, few CDs to start with. First one, as I say, uh, Stoner is something I've just really got into, so I picked up a compilation, I can't see the name of it there, called uh, Sonic uh, Titans, and this is a compilation of um, new, um, it, it says new metal uh, bands, these are also UK uh, based uh, bands, but uh, more from the, the Stoner style, so there's some cool bands on here, ones you should check out, uh, 12 Ball, uh, they're really good. I've listened to some of their stuff recently. Uh, Steak, um, I showed them in the last video. Really, really good stuff. Um, what else do we have? Uh, Trippy Wicked, pretty good. Uh, Grifter, but uh, if you're, I don't know, if you want to just pause, uh, you can have a read of that. If it's going to come out in focus, a little bit of glare on there. Um, but pretty good compilation, uh, giving me some um, uh, ideas for for other bands I want to get uh, check out. Honestly, see me. Okay, uh, next up, a band called uh, Wolves of Winter. This is uh, this is 2016 released uh, self-titled album, Wolves of Winter by Wolves of Winter. Uh, it's a self-released uh, CD. Um, pick this up off uh, Bandcamp, as you can probably see on there. The gold. Uh, ask them if they wouldn't mind. Putting some cheeky signatures on in case they got famous, and uh, they uh, they duly obliged. Which is very nice of them. Um, nice personal touch. I like I like that on Bandcamp, and there's going to be a few examples of this in today's video about um, you know you, you kind of when you buy music from Bandcamp, you're pretty much dealing with the bands themselves more often than not. Um, so there's the inside, uh, and you just kind of get that nice sort of um, personal touch. It's a full length album. Um, so they're a trio based out of Phoenix, uh, Arizona. Um, the blurb says their sound ranges from classic rock to grunge to stoner and doom and back again. Packed with melody, but gets deep down and dirty when it needs to. Um, more stoner rock than metal. Um, if uh, well, stoner rock than stoner metal, if such a distinction exists. Lovely artwork on this. I mean, this this artwork deserves to be on a on a on an LP uh, vinyl. But um, there we go. Um, if you want to check these out, um, go on Bandcamp and maybe check out the first couple of songs on the album, uh, Astro Thoughts and uh, A New Reality. Uh, pretty good stuff, enjoying it. Uh, next up is a band that I'm really getting into recently and not one that I instantly uh, clicked with either. A uh, bit of a clue to the name, not much of a clue to the band. Um, so, a couple of months back, um, again on Bandcamp, I um, uh, came across a band called Sedulous. Uh, this is their 2007 self-released uh, CD called uh, Dogfight. Uh, this just cost me three pounds from Bandcamp for a CD. I mean, it's it's it's. Clearly, you know, self-produced. The label looks like it's been printed at home. Um, very difficult to read the in the cover because it's purple on black. But it's it's really good. Um, really good album. Got a couple of stickers that were sent along with it, which was uh, nice. Um, so this is a band from London. Um, Again, the description was so the gargantuan rifts with haunting layers of ambulant interludes. Um, so these were formed in 2005, and they've got a few EPs that have been released. I'm 
probably going to pick up the others now that I've really got into this. To say it. When I first got it, I wondered whether I made a mistake, but um, the more I get into it, the more I listen to it, I, uh, I really like it. Uh, again, if you go on Bandcamp, check out the tracks uh, Mudbug and uh, Breaking Point from this uh, EP. So I say it's, it's six tracks on it. The longest track, um, because of you, uh, to me it sounds a little bit more sort of UK indie rock vibe to it. Uh, quite a bit sort of ambient, swathing guitars on there. Um, and that kind of threw me a bit because it doesn't necessarily fit with the other tracks. It's a good track, but the, the other tracks are a bit heavier and, and more sort of along the, the, the rock and metal. Um, the rock and uh, metal uh, sound. Um, but yeah, so Sedgwick's a, a really good band, really get into them. Um, they recently um, released a um, their first uh, vinyl album, and uh, as luck would have it, it uh, arrived uh, today. So I've been having a listen to this a couple of times today. I've still got the, the shrink on it, so apologies for the, uh, the glare. This is another sticker down here. It's not part of the, the album, but this is called The Sleepers Awaken. Um, full length album. I've only listened to this a couple of times. It's kind of quite um, quite complex sound really um, in that the, the, the style changes throughout. Uh, at times it's really kind of quite heavy. Uh, other times again, I think mentioned the other album before is, is a bit more sort of on the ambient, ambient side. I mean if if chill out metal was a thing then this would be part of that thing. Um, as I say, listen to it a couple of times. I, I need to listen to it some more, but I'm really, I think I'm really going to enjoy this one. Um, I bought this as the uh, as a package for the album and the the t-shirts. This is uh, t-shirts called Event Horizon, I think, and that's probably one of the the best tracks on here. So if you can get to hear this online, um, I don't know if this album is actually on Bandcamp or not. I can't remember, but if you do get to listen to Event Horizon, I would uh, thoroughly uh, recommend it. Okay. Um, Oh yeah, so we've got the and very nice glossy inner. It doesn't actually have the lyrics on there. It's just sort of um, it's almost like they felt they had to do a glossy inner. Um, would have been nice if they put the um, the lyrics on, but uh, there you go. And uh, the label is fairly plain. It's on black vinyl as well. But, uh, Going to enjoy uh, giving that a few more spins. Um, oh yeah, I mentioned earlier about you know dealing with Bandcamp, and the really nice thing is, I mean the the, the sender on here, the, the address at the back, of course, is out. But uh, let's see, the sender is R Williams, and he's the, the guitarist in the band. So when you deal with Bandcamp, you really do more often than not deal with. Um, members of the band themselves um, so I think it's I think Bandcamp is a great way of getting into new music but also supporting the bands directly uh, rather than through uh, record labels so that's all good uh, next up is a band that's a, a bit of a mouthful so this is also another um, London based uh, stoner metal fuzz um, sludge band um, a bit of a mouthful because they are called, uh, probably can't read on there, but they're called Chubby Thunderous Bad Cush uh, Masters. And this is a, uh, this is their, uh, it's an EP, isn't it? Well, it's got six tracks in it, so it must be it's more of an EP mini album uh, called Earth Hog. This was originally uh, released in 2015 as digital download only. Um, I did buy it from uh, their band camp. Uh, digital download, um, downloaded them as the, the flat, lossless media, ripped my own CD, and I've been listening to that for some time. So, uh, but when I heard they were releasing it on vinyl, I had to go for it because this is this is killer stuff. Really, really like it. Um, uh, best track, uh, say chopsticks and bad meatballs. Um, uh, this is available on Bandcamp. You can just go to um, and listen. So I, I would thoroughly recommend that. In fact, the um, the best review on Bandcamp that I read about these uh, summed up the album in five words, and that was like sex, only more dirty. Uh, which I thought was was pretty good. 
Um, the inner, when they're actually on stage, they all have this kind of slightly, all, it's all tie-dye, uh, a bit psychedelic, um, uh, crazy makeup as well. But again, another example of having, you know, putting an inner in that, you know, should really have the, uh, the lyrics on, I would have thought. Um, but there we go. <laughs> Um, this one comes on a uh, lovely blue turquoise vinyl, custom labels, very nice, but so uh, this one's a lot, a lot of fun, um, really enjoyed giving this a spin. Next up, one that's been shown uh, quite a few times, um, uh, Greeno certainly uh, showed this one. Uh, Motherships, this is from 2013, self titled album. Uh, stoner rock, stoner metal, classic rock, heavy metal, all of the above. Uh, I don't really care, I just think it's bloody brilliant. Um, Cosmic Rain, City Nights, Eagle Soars, uh, Lunar Master. Um, you cannot fail to be in a, in a good mood when you, when you listen to this. Um, I'm not doing too much to say because it's been it's been shown before. It's uh, a few years old now. Uh, we poster comes with it, and uh, this is on uh, black vinyl labels. Same on uh, both sides. But a killer album, one of my favourite pickups that I've had uh, that I've since I've started listening to uh, more Stoner. Excuse me. Right, um, next up again, another uh, Bandcamp uh, find. Uh, this is a, a band uh, from uh, Florida, uh, described as a mix of American blues and English metal. Um, very much in the Doom, Stoner, uh, Sludge uh, bracket. Um, uh, that's uh, Hollowleg. Uh, this is the album uh, Crown. So this is one that, um, I mean, there are some great uh, stuff on, certainly from the US on Bandcamp, and sometimes the uh, the postage is just way too much, um, you know, almost over double the cost of the, the album. But this one had really cheap postage uh, from the US, so I went for it. And um, the actual postage on the, the package that came was probably double what, what I paid for it. So I'm not really too sure if this band made too much out of me. Um, uh, for for this purchase, but uh, I'm glad it came in. It, the record itself was a, a little warped. Came with a sticker, quite a big sticker. Um, warped kind of that way rather than wobbly all the way around. It, it plays okay though, um, but I just have to put a weight on it when I uh, uh, when I when I play it. So here's the uh, great artwork on the uh, inner and. We have some lyrics, which is great. Um, the vinyl itself is is really nice. It's a kind of a gold leopard, maybe uh, splatter vinyl. But I don't know if you can see. Actually, it looks quite uh, quite flat there. But there's a little sort of dome shape to it which uh say a little annoying but you know there's there's no way i can i can send it back it would just cost me uh too much um but uh so it plays well um and it's uh kind of really um guttural vocals um i don't always go for that kind of vocal style but um uh you know with this band it it really works um because it it works with a gritty sort of heavy metal sound but also atmospheric as well um, I say more more of the extreme uh, side of the, the new music I've been experimented with, but uh, not too extreme to turn me away. Okay, so that was that's my um, that's the stoner metal um, rock part of the uh, video uh, complete. Uh, so onto onto the metal again. Some CDs first. In fact, I'm going to uh, show a CD I've shown in a previous uh, update because. Um, after I did, I don't know if it was the last video in this series I did or, or the one before, but 
I showed this band um, uh, device uh, and um, forgot to show that, that, that again from Bandcamp asked them for a cheeky signature and, and just make out there uh, it was signed um, but the main reason I wanted to show this one again is I still still spin it I still stand by what I said before um, first two tracks aren't the best but the rest of it is a really great album so this is a yeah device um, but I went to throw away the packet that it came in and uh, just before I did I realized that there was a, a note in there uh, and not just not just like a, a receipt or anything but actually a, uh, a handwritten note uh, from um, one of the guys in the band um, it just says, hope this disc finds you well. Thanks from the three of us for ordering our CD. It is signed as per your request. How did you happen across our music? We are always chuffed to hear from folks overseas. Ah, the power of the internet. Anyway, all the best to you and our many thanks. Stay metal from device. I just thought that was such a nice touch. Um, uh, you know, they didn't have to do that. Um, they didn't have to sign it. Well, be, you know, I asked them to if they could. Um, but it just kind of shows that what a you know a great um, a great way of getting music and actually getting to feel like you're you're interacting with the bands uh, on on Bandcamp. Um, next up, uh, a band called Iron Maiden. Uh, you may well have heard from. Um, they've got a new CD out a year ago, uh, which um, it's obviously the Book of Souls, and I have only just got round to picking this up now. Um, this is one that I have been um and ahhing about buying for a long time. Do I want the vinyl? Do I want the CD? It's a double album. It's really long. Um, part of my part of the thing that put me off was, you know, am I am I going to get the time to invest in an album that long to? play it enough times. I've I've not been although I've I've liked them, I've not been blown away by their their last couple of releases. So I kind of sat on the fence for a very long time. But then I saw they've um they were, you know just as the standard release of the album, there's been plenty of other special editions out there with books and uh, all sorts and um, as as nice as they are packaged, I'm not. When it comes to CDs, I'm not that fussed about getting special editions or anything like that. I just want to listen to the, the music. I tend to rip it, uh, uh, MP3, and then listen to it on the move. Um, so saw this for a fiver, decided to go for it, and um, I really like it. Yeah, I I just think it's the best thing that they've released in a long time. I'm not going to dwell too much on it because everybody has probably heard this by now. Um, so just standard CD, double CD uh, edition, um, and I will probably pick up the vinyl now because I enjoy it that much. Um, I've listened to the first CD uh, probably about five or six times now, and the second uh, half of it, second CD probably only about once or twice, um, but I will rectify that in future. But there's some really good tracks in there, I think they did a, a really good job, and I kind of regret not picking it up before, but you know, there's been that much good uh, music uh, being released over the last... Uh, a uh, couple of years and God, for over the last 30 years let's face it that um, you know I'm, I don't mind being bleeding edge uh, rather than cutting edge. <coughs> uh, one thing I have got that is a bit newer so in my last 80s update uh, from the Edinburgh record show that I went to I um, I, I mentioned that I picked up a, a Michael Schenker uh, group um, album Assault Attack uh, Michael Schenker being from his solo career, somebody that I've just I've kind of ignored, not on purpose, just never got around to picking up his stuff. I see his stuff a lot. And just, you know, always thought, well, it'll be there when I go back and then always found something else to pick up uh, instead. But when I listened to Assault Attack, I really, really enjoyed it and uh, kind of kicked myself for not having, you know, invested time in it earlier on and picked up some stuff. But um, so when I was looking online about some of his other stuff that's available, I noticed that his his latest project uh, is called Michael Schenker's uh, Temple of Rock, and I, I wondered what that would uh, sound like. So I picked up a copy of uh, Spirit on a Mission. This is a 12-track uh, CD, and this is really, really, really good. Really enjoy it. Um, 
So the lineup is obviously Schenker on the lead guitars, uh, Doogie White uh, on vocals. So he's a Scottish uh, Scottish singer. Uh, had some time with Rainbow and uh, Ingrid Malmsteen's bands as well. Uh, Wayne Finley, who I don't know too much about, I don't know if him, but I recognise um, uh, Francis Buckholtz and Herman uh, Raybell also make up the the lineup. Um, yeah, this is this is great. I mean, it's straight up sort of. Um, Probably more hard rock than than the metal. Um, the band are all of a uh, of an elderly state now, I guess. Um, some would perhaps call this dad rock or dad metal, but um, you know, I'm kind of in this bracket now, uh, and I, I really enjoy. It. I think it's 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 more of a a mature sound, and I think. Uh, uh, and, and yeah, I just really like it. Uh, I listen to this a lot on the on the way to work, and um, songs are really catchy. Um, if you're into Michael Schenker and you've not checked out Temple of Rock yet, uh, look on YouTube. There's lots of official videos on there as well, so it sounds pretty good. Lots of stuff from them live as well. Uh, Temple of Rock, check them out. Okay, that's the last CD. Now on to um, the vinyl. Um, first up, so this one I've got uh, Rui Martins, uh, our uh, VC King from uh, from Portugal. Um, I can't remember if he actually reviewed this or or how much he showed this album, but he had it playing in the background. Um, of uh, one of his recent videos, and this is Raven Sire, uh, The Cycle Never Ends. Uh, this is a Portuguese uh, metal band, and um, I really, really dig the the, uh, the sort of the soundtrack for that uh, that video that, that really shot. And look these guys up, listen to them a bit more. Um, oh, cool! It's got a download car. There we go. Bit of that. I bought it off Amazon, so I downloaded the uh, the MP3s directly from them. But uh, this is kind of straight up uh, heavy metal. Um, you know, as the picture suggests on the front, there's there's kind of uh, songs about warriors and uh, and that kind of stuff with it. But uh, it's just really, really good. I really enjoyed this. This is from 2016. Um, there's the inner pictures of the band. Um, so as I say, credit to Rui for turning me onto these. Um, I thoroughly recommend uh, others uh, check it out as well because it's they're just a, a really good. Um, not, I wouldn't call them a new wave of traditional heavy metal band. I mean, these guys sound like um, you know um, they're not trying to sound like an eighties metal band. They've got they've got they have got the sound, but they're not trying to sound. It. I think. I find with a lot of new wave of traditional heavy metal bands is they're setting out to sound that way. And to me, these guys, uh, this sounds how they want to play uh, their their metal and, and, and rock. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, you know, there's a massive following for the new wave of traditional heavy metal, and there's quite a few bands that I like. Uh, so we've got Standard Black Vinyl. Uh, here we go. That's the label for that side. And um, really nice label. As well, custom label. But very, very cool. If you like your, you know, your good old-fashioned metal sound, uh, these guys will uh, not disappoint you. Um, next up, uh, Ram. So, I got into Ram uh, through last year's um, Subversion, Subversion uh, release. Uh, as a lot of people did as well. I mean, it was probably one of the most uh, frequently shown uh, albums somewhere of last year, featured in a lot of people's. Um, sorry, I'm looking for it. Uh, featured in a lot of people's uh, top albums last year. So this is uh, obviously the Ram, the same Ram. This is their fourth uh, studio album called Death. And uh, this is really good as well. Um, I'm really enjoying this one as much, if not more, at the moment than uh, than Um 
on gatefold, lyrics on this side. Um, yeah, killer, killer album. Um, again, more of a, to me, not, not, you know, the, 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 uh, do these, oh, you, you tell me, do these fit into the new wave of traditional heavy metal? How long, I'm, I'm, I'm not, don't know if I fully understand how long that, um, that kind of subgenre has been, um, or categorization has been uh, going for, and how long it's going to continue. Um, you know, how long can a new wave last? Um, but these guys have got five albums out so far. Far, uh, so this is their fourth. Um, High Roller Records have just re-released their second and third um, uh, studio albums, and I've got those on on pre-order. I'm that into RAM at the moment, and um, I got an email today to say they've been dispatched, so that will come in a in a video uh, very soon, hopefully. Um, but if you loved uh, this one and you've not heard this one, get this one as well. Um, Under the Scythe is probably one of my favourite heavy metal tracks um, that I've heard in a very long time. It's very, very catchy. Uh, great riffs, great solos. Um, yeah, catchy lyrics. Um, absolutely love it. Uh, get this one. Do it. <laughs> um, there's the uh, labels all that exciting, but uh, show me. Uh, finally, uh, that was going to be a, the, the final album, but um, I got a package in the mail today. This isn't VCLT, this is something that I ordered. Um, and I have uh, Chris from the uh, Vinyl Transmission channel to thank for for this. So this is, uh, this is a band that um, he gives me credit for turning him onto. Uh, I give Rene uh, Hosper Metal. I give him the credit for turning me onto them. Uh, at the time when I got into it, and um, I've shown it again, I've shown it on one of my first um, uh, Metal and Vinyl update videos. Uh, it was only available on CD. Um, I say Chris uh, Vinyl Transmission let me know very recently that they were, re -re they were releasing it uh, on uh, vinyl. Uh, so I had to go and pick up a copy. A copy. So this has been sitting around all day. I figured I would do a uh, an unpackaging or a, or a, if it's sealed, the seal to reveal as well. Um, just so you can guys can see what it is. It's come from Diabolic Might Records in uh, posted from Germany. Um, let's see if I can get in. I'm hoping it's going to be okay. It's got a little ding in the front here, so fingers crossed. Um, okay, let's go and see. And the album in question. Oh, this is nice. They've, they've kind of packed it, uh, packed the record outside the sleeve, which I like. But this is Nasty. Stereo Nasty, sorry. Nasty by Nature. Uh, not sealed, which is fine. So it's more of an unpackaged to reveal. Um, killer tracks on here. Um, this is, I guess, kind of more new wave of traditional heavy metal. This is one I really, uh, really like. Um, what do we have inside here? So we've got a Diabolic Might Records flyer. And uh, here's the inner. If I remember rightly, I think these are an Irish band, but I'd have to double check. I don't quite remember. Um, anything else in there? Nope. And here we go. And um, blue. Vinyl, the stereo nasty, uh, 
and nasty by nature. But this is a great album. I'm uh, really looking for. I'm really glad this is out on vinyl. I think it's well, it's an album that uh, thoroughly deserves to be on vinyl. Uh, some really great uh, catching uh, tracks on it. Okay. Um, inter interesting enough, I th um, I thought the blue vinyl was limited to a hundred copies, but the uh, at the back it says this vinyl is limited to five hundred copies. So I don't know whether I have to check that out and find out um, <coughs> whether that's uh, true or not. Not that it really matters. I need I only need one copy. Um, but there we have it. Um, that's my. Uh, metal and stoner rock uh, update. Um, quite a bit of stuff there. So this covers a good two or three months worth of uh, of, uh, of collecting. Um, hope you enjoy it. Let me know. Let me know what you think of any of these. Um, again, uh, great. If you disagree with any of my thoughts on any of these, please let me know. Um, I like to to have a good debate over over this kind of music. Um, Probably going to be a little bit quiet over the next uh, month or so. Uh, holiday uh, coming up, um, so I won't be on YouTube a hell of a lot, whether commenting on other videos or um, or producing my own. Um, but uh, you know, it's the summer. Got to enjoy the uh, the weather we have um, in the UK while it lasts. Uh, starting to get dark now. Coming up to eleven o'clock at night. Um, we'll probably post this on uh, Wednesday morning. Um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.